Hey everyone, uh, once again, welcome to another episode of CPY at Home. For this episode, we're going to be making uh, birdhouse boxes out of cardboard and tissue paper. You can use big or small. That's right. And so, and you this... You can have the mini box or you can have the milk box. Yep, so if you have a milk carton, um, that will probably work the best. But if you don't... Or you guys have like a box or something. Yep, a box that will still work too. Otherwise, what we have is we have two size uh, cereal boxes. We're going to use this for the main box. We're going to this use this to make the popcorn, and that's pretty All right, so to make it up, obviously you want to empty the cereal so there's no cereal in here and whatnot. And also, you guys want to use this, and also, oops, um, that glue we had it last time, you guys will see the other, other yep. video. So, I'm gonna hold up the stuff that you're gonna be needing for this project. First off, again, you're gonna need a milk carton, a cereal box, or even cardboard box that you're gonna cut up. So, cardboard boxes, yep. Scissors, or like a paintbrush, we have a and like some paint. A podge podge. So, this will come in your kit, and this is just what you're gonna paint over and it. And also, so be careful with your hands. Be, it's that's right, be careful with your hands, it is gonna be sticky. You're also gonna have like a popsicle stick, uh, a water wood stick, that's gonna be part of your kit. And then glue. And then if you... That's sticking glue. That yeah. was my dad got it on his hand. He did. Yeah. So what we're gonna use for this one is super glue, because this is just what I have at home. But if you have regular arts and crafts glue, and if you dad? don't have any of that, oh, that's just something else. If you don't have any of that, you can also just use tape. And that will work out fine. All right? Again, you need a pair of scissors. Dad, can I get my scissors? Yeah, you can get your scissors. And then what I have here is actually a box cutter. Um, if you have, just have a scissor, and a knife. And also, let your parents help you with that. Yes, have your parents help you with this because it is sharp and we don't want anybody getting hurt. So the first thing you're going to do again is just you're just going to empty out um, you know, your stereo into this part and whatnot. I'm gonna tape it on top just so that I keep it uh, into like a flat top. And yeah, like out. a square house. All right. <clears throat> now your directions will probably be a little bit different than this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut up the opening for the bird feeder part first. So then, so like <clears throat> a square, so then the birds can go in. All right, we're gonna cut up, yep, just like that, a square so that the birds can actually uh, feed through that. And then after we are done, we when it's morning, then you guys can hang out so it'll be dry. Yep, and so what I would like, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go probably about halfway up. That will give you enough space down here for your, all your bird seeds and all that stuff for them to kind of for and the like seed. And like food Yep, for the bird food. So. And also we got one too. We do, we have a bird uh, well, feeder bigger. outside. It's yeah. So again, we're gonna cut right around here, make a space. So and so here we go again. Have an adult do this part for you because so it is going to be get hurt. a sharp eye, and we don't want you to get hurt. So, so guys, um, I'm not doing because my dad is. Okay. All right, so again, it'll be something like this, and then once you get this part, what you're going to do is and she's gonna help me with this. you're done close it let your parents do this put it away so it just doesn't get in the way it won't hurt anybody you let won't come back and you will use it again too. you let your parents do that down right, you want to do this part baby yeah all right so once you get this again if you have like a tray or something to put it on that'll probably help but if you don't um you can actually just slowly squeeze some of this and again you don't need a lot so you just want to put a little bit on at a time and then you want to just paint it Yep, but we're gonna do one side at a time just so it doesn't get sticky. And then 
once we're gonna get that here all squares, basically you can just choose, you can mix and match, or you can pick like a certain color. Take this, set it down. Alright, so once you've kind of put everything on, what you want, actually want to do is you do want to put an extra coat over the tissue paper that you have just done. And it's just going to be a light coat so it won't be as heavy as the other one. But again, put it right on your brush. Alright, once you've got it coated, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna set it aside. It will take approximately four to five hours or even a little bit more for it to totally dry up on you. And then once that's dry, we'll come back and we'll do the um, next part of this activity. All right. Guys, welcome back. My dad and dad to So while we're waiting for the other part, uh, bread feeder to dry. So now we're going to put the fruit pebble on. Yep, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it so that we can make a roof for the other one. So just like before, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut um, something that's about the same size of that. All right, so really important, you want your roof to be at least the same size of your top or a little bit bigger. It's okay if it's bigger, but you wanna make sure that it's not smaller. All right, yep, so once you have this, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it in half. Again, once this is on there, as you can see, my tissues has gone over the edges, but that's okay, because at the end, what you can do is you can just trim them down once everything's dry up. So again, this is gonna be the roof. We'll do it when it's dry. So it'll be easier to come. Right, and then again, we're just gonna let it sit four to five hours, it'll be dry, and then we'll be back to uh, finish it up. All right, now that we are back with our uh, birdhouse and it's Give it some time to dry. Um, so we have our birdhouse, we have our roof, we have their popsicle stick in which the bird's gonna be perching on. And again, what you guys remember was earlier, I you know, tissue just went overlap. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna trim everything down to make it nice and even. There you go, you have it. Again, I'm just gonna fold it in half. This is gonna be uh, my roof. Here's my birdhouse. The bigger part is where I'm gonna be inserting this. And to make this, what I'm going to do is, again, I want to go down just a little bit here so the bird can kind of sit on it. Have a parent or an adult help you with this part. All right, we're going to make a slit. Okay, big enough just to fit this bad boy right here. When you put this in, you want to make sure that it goes in far enough so that it will be strong enough to support the bird that's going to be landing on it. And <clears throat> got one twine right here. So this part, again, I'm just going to make a couple openings right here so I can hang in my, uh, my twine tied up so that I can hang it up. Right. So again, you do want to just give it some time you let the glue settle down into everything so everything's on nice and tight, right? If you need to, you can reinforce it. Find a nice place that you can hang this under. You probably want to make it under where it's kind of protected a little bit just because if it rains or something, it doesn't get to it in one. So once again, thank you for joining us for another episode of CPY at Home. 
Hopefully you had fun with this project. Join us again next week for some more activities. Also visit us on the web at www.cpymn.org for some other activities and great ideas. Thank you, have a nice day.